So we're giving our Aldabras a bath today. This one is our biggest Aldabra. They're all about three years old. And we got some really warm water here for them. They've been in an area that uh, their tortoise house got kind of muddy. So we just moved the tortoise house today. And so we want to get them nice and clean because now the tortoise house is in a really nice and clean area so they can stay clean. It's been so cold out, now today it's kind of warm. So we don't want to do this outside on a day that's really cold. They are very sensitive to cold. To protect them at uh, 60 degrees. At worst, 55 degrees. Definitely don't want to go any colder than that with them outside unprotected. See, this dude's huge. So we call him Bumpy. He's got a little bit uh, bumpiness to him, but it hasn't grown any. So when we got him, it was about the same. Check him out. Clean it up nice. That's good. Try to get his arms a little bit. Legs, I mean. Get these nice and clean. Just a little bit. Like we said, it's pretty. We say I say he. I mean, it could be a girl. But this one has grown at a much faster rate than the other ones, so it makes me think that it may be a male. Still too early, really, to tell. By flipping them over. The Aldabras don't mature as quick as the Sulcatas. The Aldabra might not breed until 20 even 25 years old the males take a little bit longer than the females oh yeah that's cleaned up real nice what a handsome young man all right you look much better now let's get you off Here's Abra. So Abra is our next biggest one. Abra's got a split skew. Try to get it really clean. You can see that split skew real good. Bumpy had a double skew. So very little pyramiding here. Bumpy was just ever so slight bit more. Definitely nothing to be alarmed about. Really trying to get out. Super active. They're just gonna let me get to his head. Abra, the first one's the friendliest one. Yeah, just working around, getting that. It's kind of cleaning itself there. All that moving is doing. Need to change this water out for the next one. And this one is Tittles. Tittles is extra squirmy. I just tried to start the camera and ran away. Tittles has a really nice shell. Double scute there. Oh yeah, look much better. That shell, nice and clean. And we got them in that area that's kind of muddy. Stay clean for a while. And our last. 
last one. This one we kind of changed the name a few times here. I'm kind of calling it Loppy because it's lopsided a little bit. I'll show you in just a second. One side of the shell is a little bit taller than the other side. And this is the smallest one here. We're very likely to be a female. Nice and clean. difference right there all right so I got them moved they're nice and clean so now they should stay pretty clean for a while this area has got a lot of grass in it. now the grass is pretty short but uh, it's better than the mud some of these tire marks skidded just a little bit and we got a couple of heaters in here Got this one, which is pretty big, and then that one, and then, and then we had that as well. Now, only would turn that one on when it is super cold out. These do a really good job. Now we do get a lot of dust. Got to clean these filters off. But you could these have a thermostat on them, and I usually set it to like 75. And then this one. I had another thermostat. I think it, oh look, here it is. So this is the thermostat you can use for these. This is a smaller space heater. It might be 700 watts. And this one is 10 amps. This one is 15 amps. So we got these on different circuits. So if we lost one circuit, we still would have a heater. We got closed cell spray foam all the way around. And we got a layer to keep them away from that.